So yeah, take two. So let's try it again. Clap for good luck. Or well, syncing audio. Recording and take a quick ride. I'm wondering where we should go. I mean, it's around 11:30. Not really doing much. Uh, nice weather. It rained a while ago, so the roads are a bit, well, greasy. But it's not impossible. Hump, 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 hump. But yeah, don't want to wake the neighbors too much. So yeah, let's go and check out Fort this uh, this hour. So intersections are always sketchy, especially at night. You know, everyone's partying, all that. Uh huh. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. All right. Hello. You know these stupid taxis, they make U-turns anywhere they want. This is McKinley, there's literally signs every 10 feet says no U-turn and th there you go. Welcome to riding in the Philippines. Uh, and then you have these guys. Uh, give me a sec, huh? Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. And it's always annoying how loud their mufflers are, and yet... And... Around right here... Hello... Crossing the street, and there's a van. You're crossing, excuse me, right of way. You know, these things that people just don't follow here. But yeah, so I wanted to check the bike and didn't know anyone who had one. Uh, last year, went for a ride um, with some media friends, and one of them, Chino Gaston, he had this bike this ktm smt he was there with it um i saw it i told him i loved it and then next thing you know well i had an accident that day so that's what happened but that's besides the point i mean at least i saw the bike uh and then recently started riding again after my accident yeah shoulders started feeling better decided to go back to riding and uh yeah sir chino uh, just messaged him i was like hey sir you're still selling your ktm smt and he was like yeah he's selling it and then give me a price it's a little too much uh that time i was in a husqvarna tr 650 uh love the bike but a little bit worried about its uh service history uh not really history though but i'm a little worried about like its signal turn left a little worried about its signal Yeah, you want to avoid those metal strips. So yeah, a little, a little worried about servicing for that bike. Um, Grandstar did not do a good job. Uh, a lot of problems with servicing, a lot of problems with parts, a lot of problems with trying to find people who could work it, work on it. So decided to just you know give it up. Um, he offered me a good price. Just had to add a little bit. And I'd be able to have my own KTM SMT 990 and there you go. So uh, I bought the bike off him. Uh, when I first got it, it was a little overheating a little bit. So couldn't use it as much in traffic. Now if you see there, Nick, it's uh, somewhere in the middle. That's, that's good. We, we want that. Um, but before, like give it two minutes, five minutes in traffic. My God, it started overheating and it just wasn't a good ride. Um, always worried. The engine light actually came on a few times. Oh.
not the engine light, the hot, hot temperature the temperature light came on a few times hello, not on a pedestrian lane what can you do? so yeah, um, it was overheating a lot uh, brought it to KTM actually I tried to change the coolant myself and I realized you needed to raise the front of the bike by 45 degrees and I just couldn't do that so yeah, brought it to KTM had the coolant changed by the Had the coolant changed, and then they actually changed my thermostat as well. So the thermostat, if for those who don't know, that's a part of the bike that opens up the water pump. So at a certain temperature, um, I think right now it's at like the stock one was like 105 degrees, which is crazy. Um, it opens up the water pump, and the water can start going around the engine. And when it starts going around the engine, that's when you get the cooling action. Hello. So again, sorry, they they replaced the water pump, the thermostat. The original one opened up at 105 degrees, which is completely useless because by that time you're basically overheating already. So replaced it with an aftermarket one. It opens up around 82 degrees. That way, at 82 degrees, the fan turns on, the cool water pump starts working. Basically, it stops overheating. You know, big bikes like these they need air flowing through the radiator, and when you're stuck in traffic, there's not much you can do. There's no air there. So especially with weather like ours ah insane it's impossible or it could also be because it's a european bike and european bikes are just not made for our weather but god they have character so yeah uh, always have to be careful about intersections like these you never know who's going to be ready to peek out around the corner um pretty sure i'm going to take out this balaclava i mean it's just getting in the way of talking um I don't know if you can hear it, it's kind of muffled, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But um, I can feel it, I mean, trying to talk with a piece of cloth right on top of your mouth is just like, you know, you're just asking for trouble, so, yeah, I gotta take this out. Um, but yeah, good ride, nice quick ride, just out of forward and back, you know, sighting ride. Um, and Schroeder, I know you're watching this, man, but I, I hope, oh god, wait, no, wait, sorry. I actually don't know if it's gonna work, but um, I hope it does. So yeah, let's go home.